I'm the one who reacts. Breaking bad medical scenes, here we go. Beep what the hell is this? Hey. It's veggie bacon, we're watching our cholesterol. I guess. Not me, I, I want real bacon. <laughs> this feels like my struggle right now because I'm watching my cholesterol. It's more about decreasing the amount of saturated fat in your diet, decreasing fatty foods, fried foods, and also at the same time, increasing your insoluble fiber. <laughs> oh no, don't faint, don't faint. If you're ever feeling lightheaded, the first thing you should do is get down on the floor. The biggest danger of passing out is actually hitting your head and causing a subdural hemorrhage. So please, if you're feeling woozy, get down, get support, call for help. This is so embarrassing. I am fine, honestly. It's just some bug going around. First my wife had it, then my son, and now me. It's just, it's just like a chest cold. See, it's important to not minimize your symptoms. Is it possible that he has a chest cold? Sure. But why in the world did he pass out from standing? That needs to be further investigated and it needs to be investigated by an ER team because he could be having a heart attack for all they know. Lean forward for me, would you? Mr. White, are you a smoker? No, never. Why do you ask? <laughs> okay. This is where these shows things get a little ridiculous. The paramedic with the power of a stethoscope can diagnose that there's some really serious issue going on like lung cancer. At most, you can hear lung sounds that can happen as a result of a pneumonia, of a viral infection, an inflammatory process, a tumor, but you can't know that without scanning. So this like devious, mischievous look of him going, <gasps> by listening with the stethoscope is pure ridiculous. Mr. White? Yes. You understood what I've just said to you? Yes. Lung cancer, inoperable. I'm really glad they're showing this part. When you're receiving bad news, it's really difficult to comprehend. You just got a diagnosis that you're potentially sick for the rest of your life. We're gonna lose your life earlier than you expected. You're not gonna be like, okay, so what are the next steps of what I should do? So whenever you deliver bad news as a doctor, you have to have the patient come back. You have to have someone with the patient to help them understand what's going on. This part could be the most accurate part of the first season. Lung cancer, inoperable. I also don't know how they realize that it's inoperable so quickly. Uh, a little bit out there. I don't know how much time has passed here. It's, it's a little inaccurate. It's just, you've got mustard on your... This is almost like a dissociation process where to escape from the bad news, he's reverting back to like a childhood state or a less serious state and thinking about the mustard because that's more fixable in the given moment. This does happen. Maybe this is a little bit more exaggerated though. Heisenberg says, relax. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Oh. Wow! Damn, man, look at that. Look. I'm not surprised if he broke a few knuckles hitting a skull on the floor like that over and over again. Remember, when you punch someone standing up, their head moves back, so there's no uh, excess force placed on your knuckle and your bone. But when they're laying down and you're hitting them, you're essentially hitting the concrete with your bare knuckle. You're breaking stuff. How's it bark? What's the matter with you? It looks like he's having a seizure. Sometimes that can happen with brain bleeds. There's, there's no uh, a pulse. If there's no pulse, you gotta start chest compression, chest compression, chest compression. Do something. Do something? He, he needs an ambulance. He, he needs a hospital. Do something! You're smart, right? Do that, do that thing! He knows that thing! But the thing is really meant to buy you time. It doesn't actually restart the heart. The point of doing the thing is so that the ambulance has time to get there and actually intervene. Beans. Castor beans. So what are we gonna do with them? We are going to process them into ricin. You actually process it into castor oil and the residue has ricin in it. Ricin means. Ricin. 
He said rice and beans. I forgot about this. It's an extremely effective poison. It's toxic in small doses. Also fairly easy to overlook during an autopsy. It is checked for in autopsies, by the way, especially if there is a suspicious cause of death. This is fugue state. What's the last thing you remember? Uh, well, I was driving home, I think. From what I remember, he's faking this, but he's doing a really good job. Isn't it possible that this had something to do with all the prescriptions I've been taking? In order to diagnose a medication side effect like that, it really has to be a diagnosis of exclusion where you rule everything else out that could cause this dissociative state of his, and then you can then blame the medication. But you absolutely do need a, a psychiatric consult here. Would you tell me about patient confidentiality? It's very straightforward. Without your permission, I can't disclose anything you tell me to anyone. What about my family? Not to your family, not to the police, not to anyone. The only exception would be if you threatened to kill someone. Then I'd be able to tell that person, but only that person. Protected health information is really important. In the cases of homicidal or suicidal ideation, we do alert the authorities or loved ones. I don't know that in a homicidal situation, if you threaten to harm one other person, they only tell that person. I think they have to notify the authorities as well. Jesse, wake up. Jesse, wake up. That is a needle and a syringe, likely to have been used for narcotics. <coughs> oh no. If someone's throwing up on their back, you have to put them on their side in order to help clear their airway because if they can't protect their airway because they're unconscious, they can aspirate the vomit, choke, die. Dude, you gotta act. That is unfortunately how a lot of overdoses do end. Someone ends up aspirating and choking to death. Oh, that's gotta hurt. That's one way to crush your femur, create a fatty embolism, make it go to your lungs and you just die instantly. <laughs> also, don't forget crush injuries release a massive amount of electrolytes into the bloodstream from the damaged cells and create a complete mashup of your electrical system in the body, which most importantly happens in the heart, therefore it could be lethal. How come like bad guys in movies always walk so calmly? Like they're never in a rush. Like my guy, you don't think the cops are coming after you just lit up a parking lot? No. We fussy. Yeah, the bad guy's not in a rush. <laughs> he lit up a supermarket. He's not in a rush, he's getting his ax. An axe to the head is incompatible with life. GSW to the head, incompatible with life. Thought I'd, thought I'd let you guys know. No, impossible. <whistles> Safiro Añejo. Salud. 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 <laughs> Induction of vomiting for poison can work. It has to happen very rapidly. Remember, ricin gets absorbed very quickly into your mucous membranes. That's why it, it can affect you even through your eyes. Can you make it less lethal if you vomit it up? Yeah, probably. I feel like if this was true ricin, there would be a lot of vomiting here. 
Those are Pixis machines. Those look very legitimate. Listo. It's like a full operating room in there. Vámonos. Those hospital beds are so extremely expensive, you have no idea. Este, rápido, rápido. I mean, you have to intubate him, you have to make sure his heart's not stopped. These are the most crucial moments in order to help save someone's life. Oh, I have no idea what he just squirted into his mouth. Archie, Archie. <laughs> All right, and she's bagging way too fast. When you're bagging, you need to bag at the same rate that a person would breathe. If we're at rest, you're bagging like bah, 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 bah. You could actually create a bigger problem. They're doing an intubation, it looks like. Some leads that aren't sticking well, starting IVs, all good stuff. Oh, they're doing dialysis to get rid of the poison, wow. That's a blood transfusion. Oh, negative blood. Universal donor. Oh. <laughs> Gracias. I love that he's chilling already. Not realistic. Boom. Ha, boom. Not surviving that. Nope. Right, right. oh, <laughs> maybe I was wrong. Oh, Jesus. I love how the staff run in no concern that there's another explosion that's about to happen. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's not fixing his tie. That's ridiculous. This isn't Batman. Did you know that I'm a YouTube boxer now? Click here to check that out. I literally eat punches and give them away. So always stay happy and healthy. First I beat. Then I treat.